We're back on the record this morning with Shigun Idowu. All right, perhaps you've heard the NBA Finals are in town. I see your green tie. I'm, yeah. wearing, I'm wearing the colors, And too. I'm wearing Bruins colors. And you are. And just in sympathy, and I think. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an event you can only hope for as a city. Um, how much of an impact does this have on businesses in Boston? A huge impact. When you and, say huge, you give know, us some numbers. We, so, well, first, and I will say, if I, if I were flexible enough to put my leg on the table, you'll see I have my Celtics socks on. I'm looking <laughs> forward to game two. Uh, game one, uh, you know, I was asked earlier how I felt about it. All my neighbors will hear how I feel about game two as well. But um, in terms of uh, economic impact, uh, you know, we were talking with our colleagues at Meet Boston the other day. Uh, they are uh, estimating a $6 million per game impact uh, mm -hmm. of economic infusion in, into the city. Um, and hotels this is anything, hotels, support for small businesses, blah, blah, blah. you know, um, yeah. uh, the, yeah. just the travel costs right. of, of coming in. Right. Um, and this is great. And it's a great way to kick off the season. You know, annually we see roughly 5 million visitors uh, throughout the summer. Um, and when, when it comes to so this just... this will more than double that. Ab absolutely. And, you know, these are folks that are coming here for the game, but they're going to come back later right. on because they see what what Boston has to and offer. And worth mentioning, because when I talk to some businesses about this, they say Dallas fans really do travel mm -hmm. uh they're 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 mm -hmm. you know they're diehard fans mm -hmm. as well yeah. so mm -hmm. um well they, they do don't travel. have 17 nba titles already <laughs> so you know we got to get used to it they right? wanted to come look at the see they want to come like. look at the yes, ceiling right. Right? what do you think the city's doing to make the most of this Oh, well, there's a lot. Well, I mean, the mayor has, uh, we've shut down, we've pedestrianized Canal Street. Um, and for the first time, uh, we are opening TD Garden to everybody during the away game. watch parties. Absolutely. And, you know, that alone is also going to drive economic mm -hmm. impact on the area. These are mm -hmm. families coming to the area that are going to want somewhere to eat. Uh, going to want a place to, to hang out and chill out. Um, and so uh, we're, we're really excited about what this means. And, and of course, games three and four are in Dallas. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can do that. That's, that's later this week. That's right. So inclusion is part of your, your mission statement as well as part of your, your job title. Mm -hmm. So since the Supreme Court's decision to end affirmative action in college admissions, there has been some pullback on diversity mm -hmm. initiatives. So how, how has your office responded? I appreciate that question. Um, here's what I'll say. Uh, in January 22, uh, the mayor changed our name. We used to be called the Office of Economic Development. The reason that the mayor changed our name to Economic Opportunity and Inclusion is because the one thing she understands is that there is no such thing as economic opportunity if we're not making sure everyone is included. Citigroup released a report in 2020 that showed that uh, because of America's warm embrace of systemic racism since the year 2000, uh, the country has lost $16 trillion in economic value. Uh, here in Massachusetts, the Mass Taxpayer Foundation said that if we were to close the racial wealth gap just between black and white families, mm -hmm. we'd add $25 billion to the state economy over mm -hmm. five years. So for us, what's important is that uh, we are including everybody. We are not uh, concerned about uh, what's happening at the national level um, or in different states, because here in Boston, the business community is doubling down, the city's doubling down, and we are uh, fairly uh, uh, you know, certain that we are protected on the legal side as well. Shigun, it's great to have you with us. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. Great, great to, to see, see you. you. And by the way, if you live near Shigun, you, there's some cheering you'll, roughly around 8 o'clock tonight yelling, till about 1035 or so. <laughs> That's right. Our thanks to Shigun Idowu. The Sunday Roundtable is next. New York City makes a sudden U-turn on congestion pricing. Will Boston hit the brakes on that idea as well? Lots to talk about. Stay with us.